today's lesson reaction balancing through oxidation and reduction reactions in acidic medium and the reaction is between ferrous sulfate and potassium dichromate first of all let's write the reaction between ferrous sulfate and potassium dichromate in acidic medium that is why acid is added suppose this is sulfuric acid the products are ferrous sulfate turned into ferric sulfate potassium dichromate chromium turned into chromic sulfate then water and potassium sulfate these are the products now let's find which one is oxidant and which one is reductant oxidants are the species that accept electrons during chemical reactions are called oxidants that means electron acceptors are oxidants and electron donors are reductants let's see in this reaction which one is oxidant and which one is reductant here ferrous sulfate turned into ferric sulfate in ferrous sulfate oxidation number of iron is plus 2 and in ferric sulfate oxidation number of iron is plus 3 that means here ferrous sulfate donates electron in this reaction ferrous sulfate acts as electron donor and electron donor is a kind of reductant so here actually iron 2 plus is reductant sulfate ion is a kind of spectator ion before the reaction and after the reaction sulfate ion remains same so this is here a spectator ion and iron 2 plus is a kind of reductant electron donor and potassium dichromate this is spectator ion so dichromate ion 2 minus turned into chromic sulfate here oxidation number of chromium is plus 6 and here oxidation number of chromium is plus 3 that means this ion acts as electron acceptor electron acceptor is a kind of oxidant so in this reaction here sulfate acts as reductant and here potassium dichromate dichromate ion acts as oxidant ferrous ion acts as reductant and dichromate ion acts as oxidant now let's go to the reaction balancing step by step step one is oxidation and reduction half reactions let's see oxidation half reaction first this is equation number one here ferrous 2 plus ion donates electron and turned into ferric 3 plus ion because here 
this is electron donor reductant and the process is oxidation half reaction so this is oxidation half reaction equation number 2 is dichromate ion This is oxidant acts as electron acceptor. It accepts six electrons and turned into chromium three plus. Here, two chromium ions. That is why two is put here. This is reduction half reaction here oxidation number is plus six reduction half reaction this is step number one oxidation half reaction and reduction half reaction now let's see the second step step two is balancing atoms and charges in oxidation half reaction we see only one electron but in reduction half reaction six electrons that is why equation one is multiplied by six to equalize the electrons in equation number one and equation number two so this is multiplied by six then we can write six ion two plus minus six electron then six ion three plus this is equation number three Equation number four is this reaction that is dichromate ion. Plus six electrons plus here there are seven oxygen atoms. To make water with these seven oxygen atoms we need 13 protons because this reaction is occurring in acidic medium that is why there is a supply of protons now we can write 2 chromium 3 plus plus 7 molecules of water here 14 protons are added to make water molecules now step 3 addition of equation number 3 and 4 these 6 electrons will cut these 6 electrons then we get here 6 ion 2 plus plus dichromate ion plus 14 protons 6 ion 3 plus plus 2 chromium 3 plus plus 7 molecules of water this is step 3 step 4 is supplying required ions required ions or spectator ions here spectator ions are potassium plus 
and sulfate 2 minus. Now this ferrous ion will combine with sulfate ion. 6 ferrous sulfate. So here 6 will come plus dichromate ion will combine with potassium ion. Dichromate ion valency 2. So 2 K2 Cr2 O7 plus hydrogen ion will combine with sulfate ion to form sulfuric acid. Here if we write 7 molecules of sulfuric acid then from 7 molecules of sulfuric acid we will get 14 protons. Here it would be 14 itself if it was hydrochloric acid or nitric acid. Sulfuric acid is a kind of diprotic acid that is why to get 14 protons we need 7 sulfuric acid molecules and then here so before sulfuric acid we will get 7 here and before potassium dichromate 1 here this is 1 no coefficient here except 1 on the right side, ferric ion will combine with sulphate ion to form ferric sulphate. Here, we have to get 6 ferric ions. So, if we put 3 here, then we will get 6 ferric ions. So, before ferric sulphate, 3 will be put here. So here there will be 3 plus chromium ion will mix with sulphate ion to form chromic sulphate. Here we have to get 2 chromium ions. So here already two chromium ions, chromic sulphate. So before chromic sulphate, one, no other coefficient. So here this is one plus seven water molecule plus another compound will be formed that is potassium and sulphate potassium sulphate so this is the reaction with balance the reaction between ferrous sulphate and potassium dichromate in acidic medium the reaction is balanced through oxidation and reduction reactions. We got the coefficients before ferrous sulphate 6, potassium dichromate 1, in this reaction potassium dichromate 1, sulfuric acid 7 sulfuric acid, ferric sulphate 3 ferric sulphate, chromic sulphate 1 chromic sulphate, 7 molecules of water and another compound potassium sulphate we got here potassium sulphate. This is all about reaction balancing through oxidation and reduction reactions in acidic medium. Thank you very much.